Well, we want to talk weather because we know a big storm is headed for the Northeast. It certainly is going to disrupt holiday travel plans for millions of Americans. Indra Peterson, our meteorologist, is here. And I was thinking, you've got everything planned. The extra little bit of turkey, an extra chair. You might now have to prepare for the weather, too. Can't necessarily always plan for this, right? It hinders these plans. And it's like a deja vu of last year where major hubs in the Northeast can once again be affected by a storm. Take a look. If you can get out today, go now. All this will change as this low makes its way up the coastline. And I'm showing you noon tomorrow. It's one of those, so you're saying I have a chance moments. Rain has not switched over to snow just yet, at least according to the latest models. Once you get past the afternoon, that's when everything shifts. Unfortunately, by Thursday, it's already out of here. So it's just the biggest travel day of the year that is going to be affected. To make matters worse, look at the major cities. You're looking at New York City, Philadelphia, D.C., right on the pink, even Boston. That is that line right between rain and snow. So tiny shift in the forecast completely changes everything. It's such a difficult forecast. Here's one of the models right along the coastline. Heavy amounts of snow in through these major metropolitan cities. You shift it just barely offshore. Everything changes and the mounts are much lighter. So this is the best we can do for you right now. The higher end in towards New York City, about four to eight inches of snow. DC about one to two. But keep in mind, a foot of snow possible in places like New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire. A foot of snow. Okay. Yes. Be rough. All right. Well. <laughs> but I love that you're letting us in on how hard it is to forecast. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Andrew <laughs> Peterson, thanks.